Iraqis have been flooding the borders, hoping to escape the violence there. Iraqi refugees now number nearly two million, with most in neighboring Jordan or Syria. Only a few have come to the United States, some of them Iraqi Christians, who are now increasingly concerned about the escalating violence against the relatives they've left behind. National correspondent Byron Pitts has their story. I cried, actually. I cried a lot. Born in Baghdad, Rita Oisha left her family in Iraq to study in Chicago. But she always believed she could count on two things, her faith and her father. Some Muslims wanted to get rid of him because he was Christian. Iraq is a dangerous place. Very. It's a sentiment you'll hear plenty of on the north side of Chicago, home to one of the largest Iraqi Christian communities in America. Here where the Sunday services are in Aramaic, the ancient language of Jesus. What do people talk about after church when you're at you know, large gatherings like this? Basically what they talk about is, have you heard from such and such person? How are they doing? What's going on in Iraq? That's all their concern is people back home. And in what has become an unwelcome tradition at this church, well-wishers pay respects to the family of two brothers recently killed in Iraq. Almost every Sunday, it's a different family. Raise your hand if you've had a relative killed or kidnapped in Iraq. I think for people all over the world, Mesopotamia is a cradle of civilization. And uh, what we see today is that it's become a cradle of death. Robert DiCaleta is an immigration lawyer who himself came from Iraq when he was 11 years old. He estimates 80 percent of Iraqi Americans are Christian. The clients that I deal with, primarily Christian, are being targeted throughout Iraq. And it's really because of three reasons. One is their religion, number two, their culture, and number three, their perceived association with the West. Rita Oisha left Iraq five years ago. Kidnappers there recently threatened her brother. So her father paid them off. He said, if I don't give them the money, then they're going to kill them. So I'll give them the money, and um, same day, he made my brothers go to Syria. Rita's parents planned to follow. But before they could leave, her father was gunned down. They shot him five bullets on his arm and his heart and three in his stomach. And killed him. Her mother and two brothers are in Syria, and Rita wants them to join her in America. It's my first hope to be close to my mom and my brothers, and I'll try my best to do what my dad asked me to do, to be a doctor. To be a doctor? Yes. Make your father proud. I will. Byron Pitts, CBS News, Chicago. Up next on the CBS Evening News, attention all parents. Important news about teenagers and binge drinking. When Evelyn had a stroke, a new plan to get a life-saving drug to her probably saved her life. It was a miracle. Tomorrow, beating strokes by beating the clock. Getting the newest treatments in time in our special series, Stroke, Road to Recovery. That story and more on the CBS Evening News with Katie Curry.